Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com. We are over here at the NVIDIA booth at Computex 2011 in Taipei and we're taking a look at the new Project Kalel. That's the third generation of the Tegra processor for tablets, super phones, maybe even smartphones, who knows? It's in a tablet right now over here. All right, that's a 10 inch tablet. Can't tell you anything about the tablet right now, but let's take a look at the software. So um, just to give you an idea, this is running Android uh, Honeycomb. Um, you might be familiar with this global demo because NVIDIA was releasing this video I think last Monday. Here we go. So this is just a game that shows you a little bit about the performance of Dynamic Lightning with this Kalel platform. Let me just get this ball back. Here we go. Now look at this. All the reflections and also the physics and it's super responsive. I think this is just amazing. I've never seen anything like this on a mobile device that is not running an x86 Core i7 processor with uh, maybe another NVIDIA GPU. So that's pretty decent, huh? I'm not getting this, the game anyways, but uh, it looks fantastic. <laughs> and that's what it's all about, just to show you the sheer performance of the Kalel uh, platform. Let's um, check out something else. Oop. So here's another demo, it's called Floating Castle and it just shows you a little bit um, about the physics and the capability of Kalel when it comes to collisions and destructions. Here we go. Isn't that amazing? I mean guys, this is, this is a performance that we're getting on, on, on a device that we carry around with us in our pockets. It's super smooth, no frame drops. I, I think this is way above 30 frames. Well, I mean, I couldn't even tell a difference if it's above 24 or not. But I could tell if it's under 24, of course. Pretty decent, huh? So this is Lost Planet 2 and uh, now it's not a video clip. This is getting rendered in real time here. So now think about all these mobile games, the complexity of it, of them, in the future. It's going to be amazing. Look at all the details. Of course, you know, then there are still some, some technology is missing. For example, we're talking about antalyzing or anisotropical filtering, but we will get there. And this is already absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's Lost Planet 2. So this is the windmill demo. It's based uh, on the Unity engine and it's uh, showing you dynamic texturing. Now look at this. Well, the first dynamic texturing on a mobile platform. Oops. Okay. Look at this. It's the amount of snow. I can make it look like a cartoon. Changing the pavement. Yeah. Oh, let's go back here. Let's change the pavement again. And the drought. That's just amazing. I've never seen anything like this on a mobile, well, not on a mobile platform. So this is something that we should expect the beginning of next year. Pretty decent, huh?